Hello everyone, today I'm gonna unbox the Ishin video transmitter and the model number is TX805 It's 5.8 GHz 40 channel AV transmitter and I remember that I have selected RPSMA female connector for this so I bought this from aliexpress and i will give you the link in the description and the price was 17 dollars i think so let's open it so you can see it's well protected there so here is the actual vtx The quality of the VTX, the PCB board and the components are really really great. So what else do we have? We have two connectors. This is the little one. I think I will use the first one and this is the big one. Both have MMCX connector and here is the manual and I think this manual is really really helpful for everyone I mean for beginners really this will help a lot So let's let's first talk about this one first. So you can see at the left there is a smart audio port which is really a great feature then 5 volt and ground and then video and then for powering the VTX there is ground pad and 7 to 24 volt pad and here is the MMCX connector you can set this in here yes like this it will do a clicking sound Wow, it has 5 volt voltage regulator built in, so that's a really great feature. You can see here for the camera, you can get 5 volt from here if you want for your camera, and you can see there it has a lot of options. 25 milliwatt then 200 milliwatt then 600 milliwatt and 800 milliwatt I don't have a checking meter to check the wattage but I think this is a pretty damn good video transmitter but I have doubt that it will go all the way up to 800 milliwatt So you can see a uh, lot of LEDs there. You can see here here is eight LEDs and then five here and then three just over here. And this is the button for switching the band channel and power. So let's see the documentation here and it is very very good there. You can read that if you want it will tell you how long you need to hold the button for 
going to different power options and you can see this 8 LEDs will represent channels and these 5 red LED will represent band and here these 3 red, green and blue LED will indicate power so that's the description of this video transmitter now I am going to set this up and show you how it works So I am using here a USB cable to connect this to my PC and now I am plugging the power and giving power to the VTX and it is by default 25 milliwatt. So now it's time to go to the PC. So for auto scanning we need to press and hold this. So it will start auto scanning and when it will find the actual frequency it will lock into that. Yeah, it is fine. It, the actual frequency is found and it is 5913 megahertz. So, I hope you guys liked my video so if you like my video then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel comment in the comment box and feel free to let me know what you guys are thinking so thank you guys take care bye